What's up, everyone out there? It's Sergeant Tapes at GoWearHipHop.com. Sitting right next to me here is none other than Chicago, upcoming Chicago artist, Nizem. What up, what up? How you doing, sir? Excellent day, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, well, we're chilling here. Um, you know, let's let's uh, get the readers out there, a little visual. Nizem, can you tell them a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm 5'9", I'm like long walks to the beach, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a Chicago hip hop artist, Chicago and Toronto. I've uh, been back and forth, been doing this hip hop thing for a few years. Uh, dabble in design, I just kind of multitask. Uh, got a forthcoming album coming out, Redefined Expression, 5510. Remember those numbers? 5510. Um, so, just, you know, getting in, getting that out, mixtape out, Evolution and Ascension. Um, go wear hip hop, you need to get that in your life. It's just great music, so that's pretty much it. Yes, sir. Well, you mentioned the mixtape. Just released it. We had a little live listening party too, as well. Yeah. Um, right before it came out. So um, let's talk about the, the mixtape. Okay. Um, what were some of the themes and concepts that people can expect um, to, to hear? Um, well, evolution and ascension is kind of like I'm assuming you don't know me because um, you know I don't want to come off like all right, I'm nice or whatever that means. Um, so it's just kind of like pretty much grounding you in a point to get an idea of where I've come from. You know, the reason I called it that was it's got music from 1999. 2009, so you can kind of hear where I'm going as an artist and get an idea. So as you progress to the album, you can go, okay, I can see where he's came from, to where he's going, to where he is now, back and forth. So it's a good grounding piece, and it's, it's gotten a lot of good reviews so far. A lot of people have been shocked. Uh, uh, you can kind of hear some of my younger content, my younger focuses, and just the evolution truly of an artist. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it flows, uh, like you said, from tracks from like 10 years ago to now. And um, you know, one of the actually another single too that we, I want to talk about is uh, the Swag the Swagify. You know, <laughs> but the song title like the Swagify. We need to, your your own words about the messages behind that song. Oh wow! Everyone wants to know about I that. Know. Um, well, the thing is, the Swagify is like the word swagger is abused. Like everyone has swag. You know, and, and it's cool. You know, but the thing is, what happens to being innovative and creating your own thing? And like with the sudden advent of that word just being ingested in a popular culture, it's like, let's get rid of it. So I'm going to terminate that word. And it's funny because when I dropped that, like I had a matching t-shirt on the front of it said like, boys have swagger, gentlemen have character. And like everywhere I go, people would stop saying a word around me. Like I was like a parent that killed that word. And the thing is, I'm not against it, but it's like the overuse of anything. It's like I imagine 10, 15 years ago and they were like, dope, everything's fresh. It's like, get a new word. Yeah. And hip hop is very cannibalistic in how it operates. It's like it creates something new and it's eaten up and something new comes forward. So I'm just doing my part to get rid of the word swagger so we can move on to that. Yeah. So people then ask me like, yo, what's, what's, what's better than swagger? To me, character is more important because when you when you die, your eulogy is not going to be about your swagger. Your eulogy is about your character. So that's more important. Yeah, dude, some, some words of wisdom there. I totally <laughs> agree. Um, so you'll check out the song below. Um, you'll check out the, the mixtape below. Um, so, you know, I also wanted to talk about um, the, the redefined expression uh, album. Okay. So, you know, we got the release party, 5510. Yeah. Um, you know, what what's going to be different about the album, obviously, um, than the mixtape with, you know, the mixtape had songs from the past. What's going to be different on the album? Um, well, for those who've never heard me, it's new music. Uh -huh. uh, but those who've been blessed to be acquainted with me and I've been blessed to share music with, it's, it's the further evolution. My last album, This Is Me, came out in 2007. And for me, it's just about the redefining of an artist, the strengthening of an artist, you know, even the song he swagified, it's redefining of a word. It's a theme that I'm carrying all the way through. It's redefining what you look at as hip hop, because now everything I've seen as hip hop may not necessarily be that. So it's like, I want to redefine how people express it, your view of it, and I'm expressing it through my own redefinition. And for me, it's when you look at the definition of redefine, it means to change the meaning of, like a rebirth, a renaissance, and an expression. So for me, I'm redefining who I am, even through my own music and my actions, and that comes forth through the music. Definitely. Well, we're looking forward to getting the preview on that. We're looking forward <laughs> to, to May 5th for the party. Yeah, definitely. Um, one last question I want to I wanna ask you your story. Um, when we, We've been going back now for a couple of years, and uh, your, the, your story also stood out to me because, uh, like myself, you got an architecture degree. You both uh, got some undergrad degrees in, in architecture. Architecture, depending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of hard work, but um, a lot of, lot of rewards in it, too. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, 
Do you see a connection between architecture and hip hop? What sort oh, totally. of connections do you see? That? Um, that's something I've pursued pretty much most of my career. I mean, I've even done writing on it, just kind of comparing the two. Um, hip hop and architecture are very similar to me in that they can form out of nothing or adverse situations. Um, when you look at the concept of hip hop, two turntables and a microphone, in theory, that wasn't a genre. But it wasn't so much the mechanics of the two turntables and the microphone versus what they represented. In architecture, whether it's steel, wood, or whatever, it represents an emotion of something expressed. Even in the location we're in now, it represents something. And that connection to me is, is definitely there because they're both art, but they both require a lot of intrinsic thought and connections to make a point. You know, a song is just like a building. You know, you can take a word or a theme and create a song. You can take a material and create a theme for a building. So they kind of both parallel in that regard, and they just take him like the acorn and turning it into the oak tree. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I agree. That's that's really great to hear you say that. <laughs> um, and um, you know, it could definitely be applied to design. It could definitely be applied to creativity, right. cre creatively, and stuff like that. So that's something um, I really wanted to get your perspective on. Definitely. Um, lastly, you know, let's let the readers um, out there know where they can follow you more closely on that. Um, go where hip hop. Be there just to be a go where hip hop, even if you don't like me. <laughs> uh, Twitter, that guy Nizem. Facebook. Um, I have a website of uh, refined gentleman music that's coming down. I'm actually putting up a new blog soon. Um, a lot of good things coming up. So yeah, five five ten. You will be seeing that number everywhere. So Facebook, Twitter, hit me via email. Nizem at refined gentleman music, refinedgmusic.com. And yeah, you know I plan on popping up everywhere. Uh, Chicago, Toronto, Montreal, Haiti, uh, Mars. You name it. I'm, I may be some everywhere. Yes, sir. Well, hey, thanks for your time. Thanks. We'll be uh, seeing a lot more of Nice in the Comps. Right. So check Go Wear Hip Hop. Check Go Wear. Shout out to all the people who helped with the album. Big up H2O Soul. Uh, big up my people in Canada, Yusuf and all them. And to my special hater, I see you. Thank you for wishing my music to crumble. Thank you for wishing bad luck on me, and I will see you soon. Love ya. <laughs>